Joining us tonight, I'm pleased to say, House Minority Whip Steve Scalise. Congressman, it is great to see you and uh, uh, your conference, uh, the Republican Party on Capitol Hill, the White House, the president, uh, focusing now on dirty cops, uh, as the president refers to them, uh, and investigating the investigators. Uh, this is a, an extraordinary moment uh, in history. Yeah, Lou, it's a long time coming. It's so unfortunate what happened. And you, clearly, we saw through the 2016 election, there were some people over at FBI, a small number, but some significant people who abused their power to try to literally take down a candidate for president of the United States. They abused the FISA court. Uh, they broke the law. And frankly, I think people need to go to jail to send a message that nobody should ever think of doing that again and to restore the good name of, of the intelligence agencies like the FBI that play such a critical role in our national security, but were abused by a small number of people, and they ought to pay the price. Yeah, and, and it's, it's it, the FBI right now has a very checkered uh, background and a checkered uh, standing in the eyes of the American people. And you say a handful, a small number of people at the FBI. I'm looking at a list of the people who have been fired, agents and officials uh, of the FBI, and we're looking at a list of some uh, almost approaching 30 names and there has not been a one of them held accountable. Yeah, and Lou, that's why I'm really looking at the Durham report. I do think that's going to be the report that names names right. and, and ultimately allows the attorney general to go after these people and hold them accountable. And I, like I said, I mean, those people need to go to jail that abuse their power because all the good people at the FBI have been drugged down by this. I mean, the country is watching this and they're going, wait a minute, I, I've seen it now. We've seen emails and texts of people literally trying to say, well, this is an insurance policy and we're going to use our position right. to stop President Trump. Luckily, they didn't, but they sure tried and you know they did. And, you know, people like Devin Nunes, other heroes who have battled know this. And we need to make sure that no, no president, President Trump or anybody else should have to go through this. That's why they need to go to jail you know, truly be held accountable. It's clear that the president uh, and uh, Robert O'Brien, the national security advisor, are doing just that, uh, reducing uh, the size of the National Security Council. Uh, it is up to Attorney General Barr, however, to clean up the Justice Department. As you point out, uh, John Durham, uh, the U.S. Attorney for Connecticut that Barr assigned to investigate the investigators. We know right now that the FBI lied 17 times on FISA applications that uh, started all of this. Uh, we, we know that 20 attorneys and FBI agents spent two years on the Mueller probe and, not, and came up with nothing. And now they're, they're attacking people as former prosecutors for Mueller uh, in this administration. It is sordid, corrupt politics uh, within within the Justice Department itself. Right, and President Trump called them dirty cops, and that's what they are. Uh, these are corrupt people who abused their power. Now, you want to talk about abuse of power, uh, to literally go in and lie to a FISA judge or mislead a FISA judge who signs a warrant in dark of night, not knowing all the facts, but knowing I'm going to trust this agent that's in front of me. And if they're misleading the judge, frankly, if I'm the judge, I want to go after those guys who made me sign a document under false pretenses. Congressman, I, one final question, and that is very very simply, uh, the House Intelligence Committee, Devin Nunes, uh, who you and, uh, and I join you in the characterization of uh, Congressman Nunes as uh, a hero in all of this and for this country, uh, sending a letter to, uh, to Adam Schiff saying, until the committee prior prioritizes oversight priorities and activities related to urgent and critical concerns, Republican members cannot support distractions from our core responsibilities. Abilities. That's a straightforward shot that the Republicans are not going to be uh, participants any further in the, the shams, the frauds, and farces that have been perpetrated uh, by the party of hate in your House of Representatives. Yeah, and you know, like you said, Devin uh, is, has done a great job of exposing, by the way, he was the one crying out from the beginning that there were a lot Absolutely. of people abusing their power, and it's finally coming to light that Devin was right. Uh, and so what he's saying now is, look, you saw Adam Schiff using that committee to carry out his personal political
political vendetta, this hatred that they have for the president to the point where Pelosi would rip up the speech that contains names of war heroes and people killed by uh, people who are here illegally or in sanctuary cities because they hate him so much. They have a job to do and they've derelicted in their main duty of, you know, look at all the oversight they could they've have been tried doing to overthrow on some of these president. bureaucrats. Congressman, they've they were, tried to overthrow an attempt president. To overthrow They're not president. derelict. They have they a different were, they were duty. part of it. Right. They were part of it. Yeah. You know, did Adam Schiff have any contact with the whistleblower? We know his staff surely did. Uh, you know, did he? Uh, these, are, sure. these are questions people have, but that's not what they're focused on. They're trying to undo the results of the 2016 election and stop people from carrying out their will in the 2020 election, and we're not going to let it happen. And you're going to be challenged once again. Once again, uh, the the, uh, the the House uh, is insisting the Judiciary Committee uh, that uh, Attorney General Barr and he has uh, agreed to do so testify. They're coming after him now, Congressman. Are you? Are the Republican uh, members of the uh, leadership? Uh, is the conference going to stand uh, united with this president uh, and the Attorney General as they did uh, in the last vote? Uh, 197 to nothing. Absolutely. You know, we worked hard to make sure that members had all the information they need. Adam Schiff was trying to hide the facts from you, the press, the American people, and members of Congress. You know, 75 percent of the members of Congress were not allowed to see the facts, and we worked to get them the facts anyway, and that's why we were able to stay united. Uh, we, we've got this president's back. We're going to have the attorney general's back in doing their jobs while Pelosi and Nadler and Schiff are so focused on these political vendettas. The country's watching, and they're fed up with this stuff. Absolutely. They want a Congress that's going to work for them as hard as they have this president who is working and delivering for the hardworking people of this country. You've seen the classified information that leads you to believe that people ought to be in jail. Uh, the American people have not uh, seen the classified information, uh, but uh, I think most Americans know uh, that all of the people we've referred to uh, need to be held accountable. Congressman, great of you to spend some time with us. Look forward to talking with you again soon. Great being with you, Lou. Thanks.